going on today guys my name is Alex welcome back to the channel today we're talking about the exhaust setup on my Ram 1500 I just installed a muffler delete pipe and I'm sure many of you guys watch this video just want to hear what it sounds like so enough of me talking I will put a bunch of comparison sound clips between uh, when the muffler was on and with the muffler delete pipe on the truck fair warning um, it is pretty loud and it does sound really good so I'll drop those clips down now. However, if you guys want to see what it sounds like in the cab and just the general process I did to put this muffler delete pipe on, um, stick around the end. Uh, I think you guys will be kind of shocked what it sounds like in the cab. So hopefully you guys noticed um, that the muffler delete pipe on this truck is uh, very loud and it does sound really awesome. Um, and your neighbors are probably gonna know every time you leave the house, especially on cold mornings like this morning. We're floating right around zero right now. And uh, so that's why I thought I would get a cold start clip, um, which you guys saw. And you could hear that this thing is pretty loud when she gets fired up. So if you know you got neighbors that'll complain, just be careful because they're probably gonna complain with this setup. All right guys, we're mid process here. I hate doing exhaust work. It's always just rusty and crappy. But anyways, here's the muffler, it's off, no big deal. There's the muffler delete pipe that's going on in its place. Um, I don't know, I just found it easier just to completely take these right off the truck left and right obviously but uh i figured it'd be cool just to see what it sound like without the rest of the piping on um just kind of you know as if you cut them off or straight off and uh, just dumped it out of the cab so i'm gonna fire this thing up in a second here and uh we'll we'll see what it sounds like about you but that kind of sounded kind of poopy i don't know see how well the cameras pick that up but it's amazing what happens when we put this pipe on with those tailpipes back on it makes a much better sounding truck i have moved the truck i just moved a little bit forward just to try and even out these two exhaust tips i don't think they're perfect but uh they're pretty decent Let's fire it up and uh, let's first of all see how good this thing sounds and second of all the difference between just the pure muffler sawzall um, and the muffler delete pipe along with um, obviously the tailpipe still in here and the resonators. And just for anyone who's wondering, I don't know my light down here, but so these right here are resonators. Um, they help to control sound or um, make the truck sound like the factory wanted. Um, so each tailpipe, I guess, has one. This is this one right here. Um, and yeah, and then obviously, oink, 
continue down. This is the muffler delete pipe. This is where the muffler used to sit. And now we have this wonderful muffler delete pipe here. All right, guys, now you know what the muffler delete pipe does to this truck and makes it sound awesome. You know what it sounds like if you just go full sawzall mode and just cut the muffler off, not very good. Um, and now I'm gonna show you guys what it sounds like or what the muffler delete pipe sounds like in the cab in a bunch of different scenarios, just cruising around town, uh, driving those country roads and even driving highway speeds. All right, so this is me just cruising around town the muffler delete pipe is shockingly kind of quiet when you want it to be. Um, I think it's because the resonators are still on it. I think those make a pretty big difference. Um, so yeah, I'm just cruising, I don't know, 70K an hour. I mean, it is a 50 zone, oops. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can cruise around town and kind of still be quiet. But I'll warn you, as soon as you put some throttle into her, it's very obvious that there's something done to this truck. So I'll give her some gas here. So, and that's pretty obvious that this is not a stock muffler. But then once you kick down a gear, you know, 80 kilometers an hour, you can hear me talking. Obviously you can probably still hear the rumble, but it is really not anything crazy, which is kind of cool. We are just cruising down some country roads not much to it. You, the actual road noise itself is probably noisier than the actual muffler, or the muffler delete, sorry. Um, and then, unless you hit a little slope, so you can hear that, kick down a gear and it gets a little bit louder. Um, so yeah, that's around 95 kilometers an hour. It is pretty much dead silent. We're driving about 110 now, and you can kinda hear the, that drone um, lurking in the background but it really is not as bad as i remember i don't know why i remembered it being so bad but that's uh yeah it's really not an issue i don't i don't know maybe for driving you know five six seven hours like this it might uh, really might annoy you but for the most part it's very very manageable um in here the noise level is is not that bad um so yeah i'm kind of impressed All right, so now you guys know what the muffler delete pipe sounds like on the outside of the truck and hopefully on the inside of the truck in the cab. I honestly think it's one of the best sounding options for this truck and this engine. Um, and for the price of a muffler delete pipe, I don't know what it is these days, maybe 200 bucks Canadian, probably a little bit less American. Um, and it's such an easy install. Anyone can do it. It's like, it's just a no brainer. I mean, the only thing I would warn about is if you don't want a really loud truck, this is not for you. This thing is really loud, and if you're not looking for that, probably not for you. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Um, if you did, make sure to leave that thumbs up. And if you like cool stuff like this, maybe think about subscribing. Like I mentioned in an earlier video, I did end up ordering my Eaton True Track um, torsion style um, limited slip diff for this rear end, and I cannot wait to get that thing installed. I'll probably make a video about installing it um, as well as a bunch of videos explaining how it works and putting it in different scenarios and showing you guys why it is really cool to have um, a torsion differential. Anyways, enough of me. We'll see you in the next freaking video.